So this is a wastewater treatment plant. Yeah, this is a little bit different from where we were, yeah. as you can probably smell, but you know, yes, this is a wastewater treatment plant. Uh, right now, we're standing on top of the headworks. The headwork structure is where the raw wastewater, after it goes down your drain, goes through all the underground collection system, it's pumped over here into the headworks. And right behind you there is where the wastewater is coming into the treatment plant. And this is where the treatment starts. The first part of the treatment is called screening, where we remove any solid plastic particles, paper particles, things that are otherwise won't be removed, might float on the surface. We remove them here and send them directly to a dumpster that goes out to a landfill. So this is what we flush down the drain. Over here in these tanks? Yes and no, not really. What, it's not what you flush down, down the drain doesn't create what you're seeing in there. Uh, you see a lot of brown color yeah. in those tanks and it's churning and aerating. And essentially what we're doing for treatment is we're using a biological process to remove dissolved organic material that's in the wastewater. Essentially we're doing the same thing that nature does, but we're concentrating it into a small area. So the wastewater is entering here at the headworks and it flows over to these chambers here. We mix it with bacteria. Now we grow certain kinds of bacteria that like what's in my wastewater. Well, the wastewater has the dissolved organics in it. The bacteria use those dissolved organics as an energy source. They grow more bacteria. So essentially what we got going here is a bacteria factory. We use the bacteria to remove the organics. The organics are dissolved in the water. It's very difficult to remove from the water by the processes that are economically feasible. So we have the bacteria attack those organics in the water, use them as a food source, grow more bacteria because the bacteria are slightly heavier than the water. So what I do is I convert all this organic material into more bacteria. The bacteria is heavier than the water, so then I take that water with the bacteria in it and put it into a tank and let it settle. And the bacteria separate from the treated water. Well, it's easy to remove the bacteria from the bottom of the yeah. tank, then the clear water that's left behind flows on to the next process, which is disinfection. So we just take and convert all the organics, the bacteria, then we remove the bacteria by gravity, leaving behind the treated water. So where does all that bacteria actually go after you're done? Okay, so we're growing bacteria all the time. We're probably 35, 40,000 pounds of bacteria every day at this plant. Well, some of it comes back into the process and does the job again, we recirculate it. But the amount that we grow every day, we try to take that out and put it into a separate process. Over here is a separate process called the digester. We put all that extra bacteria into the digester. Why does that one look so much darker than this one? The digesters over here are much darker. The solids that we have in there, the solids, the, the bacteria, the biosolids that we grow, we concentrate into that tank. Now we don't add a food source or an energy source like we do with the process up here. Here they're getting the raw organic material from the waste stream. Over there we don't give them any more food. So a lot of them die off and are converted to CO2 and water. Then the remaining part that's left over when they die off is consumed by the other bacteria as their energy source. So not only are we concentrating the bacteria, we're reducing the total amount of dissolved solids and the total amount of solids of settable solids in the yeah. wastewater. Okay. So I may have 35 or 40,000 or 50,000 pounds of bacteria that I grow in this plant, but eventually I reduce that down to about 20 or 25,000 pounds of bacteria that eventually leaves the plant site. Okay. So the digesters help us to reduce the total amount of bacteria that we have to handle. Where does that go? Okay, <laughs> when we're done handling it in the digesters, then it goes over to a sludge press. Over here we have a sludge press, and we'll take a look at that. That sludge press is one means of disposing of bacteria. All that does is remove the water portion from the bacteria we have in the digester, leaving behind a very highly concentrated bacteria. That highly concentrated bacteria eventually goes out to a farm, where it's incorporated with the soil and used to grow crops for feed animals. It never really has an end to it, it just keeps going and going. And there's actually multiple benefits to this system, isn't it? So, we're 
treating the wastewater to remove organics, creating bacteria, using the bacteria eventually as fertilizer to grow plants. So yes, we're recycling our own waste that we treat at the wastewater treatment plant. That sounds really simple. There has to be more to it than that. Well, there is a lot of complex issues that we deal with, but essentially that process is, in, is, is it in a nutshell. Now, after we're done converting the, the organic material to bacteria and removing the bacteria, then there are still some other things that we have to do. And I'll take you over and take a look at that. But essentially, that is a disinfection process to make the water safe for the stream where we discharge to.